Hi, it is time to do our review letter of the week, which is wh wh where the wh wild things are. Where the wild things are. This is one of my all-time favorite stories. Stories and Pictures by Maurice Sendak. Poor Johnny, remember that song? And those other songs that we listen to? That is also by the illustrator Maurice Sendak. So it's the same same guy that do those pictures from that or that that little Johnny who didn't care. Remember that song? Okay. Where the wild things are. And what part of the book is this? That's right. The title page. Cover? Title page, both have the title on, of the book and the name of the author and illustrator. Oh, this is the best story. Okay. The night Max wore his wolf suit and made mischief of one kind. Uh-oh. And another. Oh my gosh, that is mischief. That is not safe. His mother called him wild thing and Max said, I'll eat you up. So he was sent to bed without eating anything because he talked back to his mother and she did not appreciate that. So there he is in his room. Let's see what happens. I am so sorry, these pages are hard to turn. That very night in Max's room, a forest grew. And grew. And grew until his ceiling hung with vines and the walls became the world around him. Wow. I think that's his imagination doing that. What do you think? Could that really happen in your room? And an ocean tumbled by with a private boat for Max, and he sailed off through night and day. And in and out of weeks and almost over a year to where the wild things are. And when he came to the place where the wild things are, they roared their terrible roars and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. Oh my goodness. That would be a bit alarming. I'd be scared if I was Max. <gasps> Till Max said, be still, and tame them with a magic trick of staring into all their yellow eyes without blinking once. And they were frightened and called him the most wild thing of all. And made him king of all the wild things. And now, cried Max, let the wild rumpus start. Dun 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 Bum 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 bum. Now stop, Max said, and sent the wild things off to bed, without their supper. And Max, the king of all wild things, was lonely and wanted to be where someone loved him best of all. Then all around, from far away across the world, he smelled good things to eat. So he gave up being king of where the wild things are. But the 
the wild things cried, Oh, please don't go. We'll eat you up. We love you so. And Max said, No. The wild things roared their terrible eyes roars and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. But Max stepped into his private boat and waved goodbye. See ya. And sailed back over a year and in and out of weeks and through a day and into an, the night of his very own room where he found his supper waiting for him. And it was still hot. Oh, that was lucky. Great listening. Thank you. See you.